Hey guys, what's up? It's Nikki from My Geek Zone, and we finally have our Loot Gaming, the medieval one that we've been waiting for. I believe this was supposed to be August. I think. I can't remember. Um, they had a issue with the Skyrim item, uh, so it was a month, month and a half late. So, and we got an email saying that our Banjo Kazooie item is also in here that we lost out on in July. So, let's see. Again, uh, this is JJ's box, so he's already been through this. Um, I really didn't pay attention to what he got. Um, so these are be my first reactions, although I am very, very sick. I needed to put this out for you guys so you see what you get. Um, so, let's get to it. Again, all pricing information for these boxes will be down below. Alright, so we open it up, and this is what we see. Alright. T-shirt for less. And we already got our spoiler for the Skyrim item. I can never pronounce this guy's name. But it's the helmet replica from Skyrim Elder Scrolls V. Oh, it's a very nice box, actually. I like it. It's also a licensed product from Bethesda, so that's pretty cool. I don't see anywhere where it says Loot Crate Exclusive, but since it is stamped Loot Crate, or Loot Gaming, I think it should be an exclusive item. So, oh, tape. They love their tape. It's pretty cool looking. It's actually pretty real looking. It is plastic, but it's a thicker plastic. So. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But. It's a pretty nice item. It does actually look like it's the old iron mask and the bone um, horns. So. I like it. So depending on where you sell this at, if you were to sell it, I'd probably give 10 to $12. Um, it's going to be one of those items that you'll have to sell to somebody that really loves their Skyrim. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, we have official licensed product of PlayStation. And this a print. God of War. Um, no, no. I don't remember which one this is, but it's him and his son. Um, that's pretty cool. That's a thick plastic on it, so you don't have to worry about it getting bent up. And I do like the fact that it is a PlayStation licensed item. Um, we don't usually get prints in these boxes, so this is pretty nice, actually. Um, I'm not going to open it because I don't know what JJ wants to do with it. But it looks like it's actually on canvas. So, that's pretty thick and nice. That's pretty awesome. So, again, probably 10 to $12 on this. Because it is a licensed product. Alright. Next up, our Banjo-Kazooie license plate that we were supposed to get back in July. And it's pretty small, so it's literally just for decoration. And it comes with the like a little picture frame stand, so you can set it up on your um, shelves or whatever. Um, but it's pretty cute. I mean, they could have done a lot more with this, but it's adorable. I'm not sure how much I would give that. It is licensed by Microsoft, so. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't, really don't know how much to price that for. So, and our white card. It says celebrate Banjo Kazooie's 20th anniversary. Sorry for the delay. This Banjo Kazooie 10 print was originally supposed to ship with your loot gaming teamwork gear, but we had to collect a bunch of jiggies to defeat a witch to get it. The good news is that we discovered the power of teamwork along the way. Thanks for your patience. Team Loot Gaming. I like when they do these just because they always do come up with some weird little saying or something that goes with it, but I'm not I'm never happy to see these, but this one was a good one. But we have another one. Dark Souls items shipped separately. Hi, Looter. There's been a manufacturing delay on the Dark Souls item that was supposed to be in this crate. It will be shipping separately at a later date. We'll absolutely keep you posted. We apologize for this less than ideal experience and an inconvenience this delay may cause. Rest assured that we are working diligently to resolve this issue as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. Again, Luke Gaming. They never even told us they were having an issue with the Dark Souls one. The whole reason why this crate is a month and a half late is because they couldn't get this one. So, I don't know. They're failing me. They're failing me horribly. And then we have our collectible pen. Again, I do like the fact that they're starting to use these fastbacks instead of the rubberized ones. This is all metal and enamel pen. Um, looks to be like a Dark Souls kind of pen. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Five, six bucks there. But I really can't even give you a price on everything because, again, we're missing an item. And then finally, our shirt it looks to be licensed Dungeons and Dragons. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Looks like when you go to put it on or whatever that, uh, that the print would wrap around your side. I don't know how I feel about that actually. It should have probably been centered. But that's pretty cool. That's the dragon. Licensed product. Ten, twelve dollars. I usually give ten for shirts, but yeah. And then our finale, which usually winds up being our poster and spoiler card. So poster Dungeons and Dragons. That's pretty nice. It's pretty basic. Excuse me again. And there's our spoiler. So everything that we get in the crate, including the Epic Loot Drop, which was the PlayStation 4 Pro, Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim Special Edition, and Dark Souls 3. Um, so the pen was actually not Dark Souls. It's just um, a loot great creation. Um, just says, Welcome to the House of Loot Gaming. This pin, pin is based on actual medieval crests and coats of arms, but we gave it a fun update with some cool gaming Easter eggs. How do you say never stop playing in Latin? I do not know. <laughs> this is funny. It says, This is not the crest that four out of five dentists recommend. Do not put it in your mouth. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I never even noticed that. They've got like the the health hearts from Link. Uh, the old joystick controller. The old gaming cartridge. And I'm not really sure where the arrows come and play, but I'll look it up, and it's probably game-related somewhere. Alright, so the item that we are missing 
our exclusive Dark Souls 8-bit pin set. More pins. So, that's what they were supposed to look like. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm not really disappointed that it's not here. Um, but yeah. In the print, it says God of War 2018 is the sequel of God of War 3, which is what our print is. But it's eighth game in the franchise. So, that's pretty cool. Oops, didn't mean to cover yet. And the shirt, it says, Red Dragons are evil aligned chromatic dragons, also called flame dragons, fire worms, or mountain flame dragons. Okay, so that's what our shirt is. Again, I, I don't know how I feel about it wrapping around the side, especially since it's only like a little corner of it. But it was a decently made shirt. And the fact that it's actually licensed product from D&D themselves is pretty cool. So, again, I really can't price everything because the pens aren't here. The pens I usually give five or six bucks each, um, depending on how these ones are made, whether they're the rubberized ones or the enamel pens, couldn't tell you. Uh, so, five or six bucks. 10, 12, there's already 15. 10, 12, there's 25. Mm -hmm. 10. Yeah. So, $35. <coughs> and again, I can't give you full price because we don't have the other set. So, there it is. It is what it is. Tell me what you guys think on this one. What was your favorite item? I mean, I, I was pretty excited because I like 90% of the games on here. So, and the quality was there this time. Uh, definitely a different, different items than what we would usually get. I mean, we always get uh, a figure. Um... This being Loot Gaming, though, they usually send us a mug or something. We didn't get one. Kind of excited for that because we're starting to get pretty stacked up on them. Um, but yeah. Let me know what your favorite item in this crate was, whether you like it or not. And again, I'll put all pricing information down below. Uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you guys very much. As soon as I hit that 100, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do and press that bell button. That way you're not only entered for our giveaway, but you're also notified when I go live and when I post new updates. Um, we should be having a pretty interesting couple of weeks. So, we'll see. Depends on how long it takes for stuff to get here. So, again, thank you guys so much, and have a great day.